जननी जन्म भूमिश्च स्वर्गादपि गर्यसी सिंस टाइम्स इन मेमोरियल द पीपल ऑफ आर मदरलैंड इंडिया बिलीव दैट द लैंड ऑफ वंस बर्थ इज सुपीरियर टू द हाईएस्ट हेवन्स एंड एज वी द सिटीजन्स ऑफ एन इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया कम टुगेदर टू सेलिब्रेट 75 इयर्स ऑफ आर इंडिपेंडेंस on the 15th of august 2022 it is time to embark upon a journey of our heaven of our paradise of our motherland of our incredible india let us look at india through the eyes of an ordinary indian like you and me who is fortunate enough to have been born on the fertile soil of this timeless land This great national festival Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav beckons us to begin our journey by traveling back in time to the fateful stroke of the midnight hour on the 15th of August 1947 That was the day when our glorious nation the home to the world's oldest continuous civilization was reborn the shackles of centuries of colonial rule had finally been broken the fluttering of the tricolor on the ramparts of the red fort heralded a new beginning this new beginning came after a long and arduous struggle for independence at a cost that cannot be calculated it is well nigh impossible to say when and where our struggle for independence began but the sounding of the bugle of the first war of indian independence in 1857 was undoubtedly a watershed event the flame that the brave warriors ignited kept burning till india's eventual independence on the 15th of august 1947 sar faroshi ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein hai dekhna hai zor kitna bazue qatil mein hai innumerable indian women and men broke the barriers of caste and creed religion and region to participate in many known and unknown movements and even in the long march of our freedom struggle from a clarion call for swarajya to the adoption of swadeshi from the khilafat movement to the non cooperation movement from civil rebellions peasant movements and tribal uprisings to the heroic deeds of the undaunted revolutionaries and the indian national army from jallianwala bag to dandi from the civil disobedience movement to the quit india movement generations of our freedom fighters changed the course of history through their tireless striving for the freedom of their india the atrocities of the british raj and the relentless plundering of the proverbial golden bird had left behind a battered nation a divided land and millions of refugees but that is a story for another day jai hind jai hind jai hind jai hind i am koi baat nahi hai hum zinda rahenge ya to marenge koi baat nahi hai baat to sahi baat ye hai aam baat ye hai aakhir mein hamari kamyabi hogi inno tarada hoga for india and indians It was time to unite and build a united India. As a critical next step, the supreme law of our land, the Constitution of India, came into effect on the 26th of January 1950. We, the people of India, solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular democratic republic which assures the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation 
India recognizes justice, liberty and equality as the basic principles of a citizen's lives and seeks to promote fraternity among them. These lofty goals invigorated Indians and the task of rebuilding the nation gained momentum. The journey continues to date. Today, our nation, India, is the largest democracy in the world. It is one of the fastest growing economies globally. 130 crore Indians live in a country that is a union of 36 states and union territories. They speak over 1900 languages and dialects. Seven hundred plus ethnic groups and indigenous communities inhabit this great land, India. India, Indians and the Indian diaspora around the world continue to take great strides in every field of human endeavour. From constructing engineering marbles and building infrastructure at a relentless pace to establishing preeminent institutes of higher education. From crossing new frontiers in space, medicine and healthcare, to marching ahead in information technology and digital services. From building large-scale global businesses and financial infrastructure, to producing works of literature and art. From revolutionizing agriculture, to catalyzing allied activities. From setting up facilities to support best-in-class research in STEM to powering a digital India. From endeavoring to break new ground in sports to building a world-class entertainment industry. Indians are determined to rise to every occasion and to every opportunity. The infinite list of Indians who keep our nation going includes many women and men in uniform and in plain clothes. Crores of Indians sleep peacefully as the valiant sons and daughters of our country who constitute one of the world's largest and best armed forces stay awake and make the supreme sacrifice to guard our borders and to keep our land our seas and our airspace secure. From doctors, nurses and healthcare staff to the support staff who work behind the scenes. From the police and the paramilitary forces to lawyers and members of the judiciary and the executive. From teachers to people in media, from shopkeepers and farmers to homemakers and logistics providers. These are the Indians who make incredible India truly incredible. Our entrepreneurial zeal, our penchant for knowledge and learning, our desire to excel and our resolve to preserve the foundation of a Sanatan Bharat, even as we leapfrog into a new era, ensures that the colours of the old and the new blend together to form the kaleidoscope of the land called India, of incredible India. India is a land to be experienced not only with all human faculties, but also with the heart, the mind and the soul. India is the land of unfathomable, tangible and intangible cultural heritage and natural heritage. Our breathtakingly beautiful and diverse land boasts of the snow-capped peaks of the stunning Himalayas and of endless picturesque beaches, of verdant valleys and of undulating plateaus, of silent deserts and of powerful rivers. India is the land that is home to 40 sites that are inscribed 
on the UNESCO World Heritage List as of July 31st, 2021. 32 of these sites fall under the category of cultural heritage, 7 fall under the category of natural heritage and 1 is a mixed property that is falls under both the categories as per the UNESCO classification. From the whisperings of our ancestors at Bhimbetka and Hulavira to the footsteps of modern Indians in Chandigarh, from the roar of the tigers at Sundarbans to the pristine beauty of the Western Ghats, from the majesty of the temples built by the Choles, the Pallavs and the Kakatiyas to the grandeur of the Agra Fort, from Hampi to Ahmedabad, from the churches of Goa to the Valley of Flowers in the majestic Himalayas, the UNESCO World Heritage List just about scratches the surface of India. India is the land of flora and fauna. 89,000 plus species of fauna, 47,000 plus species of flora and over 80 million plus hectares of virgin forest land remind us that we have been entrusted with the onerous responsibility of conserving and preserving our environment. It is little wonder then that the Gir forest in Gujarat is the only place in Asia where the Asiatic lion's roars can still be heard. India is the land of spirituality and plurality. This is the land of the Vedas, of the Itihas and of the Puranas, the land of the peace-loving, enlightened Buddha. The land of the paragon of non-violence, Mahavir. The land of the valiant Sikh Gurus, of the wandering ascetics and of the devoted saints. It is the land of the Muslims, of the Parsis, of the Christians, of the Jews and of the followers of every faith that made India their home. India is the land where we worship the divinity of the feminine, the divinity in every aspect of nature and the inherent divinity in every living being. Ekam Sad Vipra Bahudavadanti India is the land of the literary arts, of the performing arts and of the visual arts. It is the land of symbols and stories, of literature and poetry. For Indians, kala or art is sadhana, it is worship. From classical dances, music and theatre, to a mind-boggling array of folk art forms, from every nook and corner of our vast land, India offers myriad rasas and aesthetics that suit every mood and every taste. India is the land where the hands of millions of Indians weave magic spin magic and create magic. Our rich tapestry of handlooms, our unbelievable array of arts and handicrafts and our mind-boggling varieties of cuisines cannot be seen or experienced in one lifetime. India is the land of knowledge and learning, of yoga and Ayurveda. Our traditional knowledge systems have always focused on the holistic development of the human body and mind in tandem with nature to ensure wellness. India is the land 
of hope and celebration from the infinite diyas of deepavali to the sewai of eid from the colors of holi to the multitude of new years from the harvest to the onset of changing seasons every day is a festival in incredible india india is the land where the sun rises early to witness and soak in the pristine beauty and the wonders of her states located in the northeast the sights the colors the sounds the tastes and the experiences of our northeastern states make our motherland truly incredible India at 75 is work in progress. Our magnificent country is a young nation and an old nation. While we have conquered many peaks, innumerable peaks beckon. We have to continue to work relentlessly to fulfill the promises that we the people of India made to ourselves. Our struggle is not only to help India regain her status as the Vishwa Guru who will guide the world with the light of her wisdom, her ideas and her creations and to preserve her diversity and rich natural and cultural heritage for our future generations but also to restore to India her rightful status as the golden bird the struggle is to bring a smile on the face of each of the nation's 130 crore citizens azadi ka amrit mahotsav presents an unparalleled opportunity to each of us to build the incredible india of our ambitions and of our dreams to fuse our glorious past with a golden future and to rejuvenate this ancient land with renewed energy it is your chance our chance and my chance to pay homage to the women and men who fought for our freedom by building an incredible india that they would have been proud of it is our chance to ensure that we continue to contribute to the growth and prosperity of our nation azadi ka amrit mahotsav makes it incumbent upon us we the people of india to come together as the one nation that we are and we will always be to build a sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara jay hind सर्वे सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कष्टे दुख भावे ओ शांति शांति शांति